G'day. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to make a simple beaker for drinking liquids or whatever the hell else you want to do with it. Uh, it's not the best example, but I'll point that out when we get to those parts. I kind of just had to make this video with the shots that I had. And yeah, you get what you paid for. So whenever starting off any project, to make sure the wheel is nice and clean and slightly damp. You don't want it be, to be too wet because the clay won't stick to the wheel. But you don't want it to be too dry either for the same reason. You know, throw down the clay, tap it into the center just a little bit. The more center you have your clay, the better the next steps will work. If you have a clay body off center, it's just going to be flying everywhere and go wonky, as you will see later in this video. Now I like to keep it nice and wet, squeeze in to cone it up, and then put downward pressure on the clay to move it back down into a donut-like shape. Using the left hand to guide it, and the right hand to enforce pressure. Now keeping it nice and wet, I'll push my thumbs into the center to make a divot. And then gently pull outward to create an opening. Now you can see it's already a little wonky. I've completely stuffed this one up. So use this video as a what not to do. Obviously <laughs> rushing things, but yeah. Maybe I was in a hurry this day. You can still make it work even if it's a bit wonky, but it's a bad habit to get into that. All right, here's the first pull. And rather than pulling up, I'm kind of just pushing it inward to make a coned shape. Grabbing the kidney to scrape off a little divot on the bottom to help get that sponge under to pull it up again for the second pull. As you can see, it's slowly getting taller. Using that kidney again to make the divot for the third pull. Making sure that I'm pulling up at the same speed every time, a consistent speed, and applying consistent pressure on the walls too to make it the same consistency all the way up. Here I'm using the kidney again, but I'm pushing the clay outward into it to smooth out the sides. This will also help it to be nice and straight. You don't want to push the kidney into the clay, you want to push the clay out into the kidney. See, it's looking pretty good. It's still pretty wonky though, so I'm using my pin thingy to straighten out the top. And then a sponge to help compress the lip and clean it up. Still a bit wonky, but I ain't too fussed. I'm using the sponge to get out all the excess water from inside. Making it as dry as possible before I take it off the wheel. Using the wire, I'll cut through the bottom a couple times, get some of that liquid under there so it's easier to slide off the wheel. There you go. A beautiful little baker. Stunning. Always after finishing, it's best to clean up the area if you're making more beakers or whatever else. As I said earlier, you don't want the wheel to be too wet. You want it to be just perfectly damp for the next project or clean for the next day. Wash your hands. Always wash your hands. Anyway, that's it for now. And uh, I'll see you next time.